whenever we publish a review of wireless earbuds, be it these kind of true wireless or earphones, people will ask me in the comments or anywhere else. They will just ask me, is it good for gaming? Is there audio delay? And today, we are here to answer your question scientifically, sort of. Over the years, we've been seeing the trend of 3.5mm headphone jacks just gone. Like the Mi 9 that I have here, there's no audio jack but they included this, this little audio jack dongle right here. But if you have a phone like the Galaxy S10 and all of those series, you have a physical jack. So how much delay does it actually introduce if you add a dongle right there and also to use some sort of a Bluetooth headphone? And today, we are using some sort of a ghetto method. We recorded footages using these two phones because they can record in 240 frames and then we count the frames from the animation in PUBG by shooting and until the sound comes out. So, it's kind of funny to say that the Mi 9 is actually performing much better than this in terms of audio delay. Not by much, but there's a significant gap even though we users don't really realize it day to day. So the first test is using straight away loudspeaker from this one into the microphone of this. So it takes about uh, 175 milliseconds, which is quite okay. And then with a dongle like this, it, use, it adds about 285 milliseconds. And then after that, by using this Ugreen adapter, we can receive audio through Bluetooth 5.0 with AppX. I connected it directly to the line-in port to my desktop. So from here, I can manage to measure that by using Bluetooth, straight away Bluetooth with AppX, you add more than one second of delay. That's really intense. If you're going to use something like SBC, it's about 0.94 seconds of delay. So that's all for the Mi 9, which is using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. So what about the Exynos 9820 that I have here for the Galaxy S10 Plus? Oh, ho, ho, okay, wait, let me just give you an update here because I'm from the future and I had a revelation that there is some additional delay into the mix for the Galaxy S10 Plus. So let me tell you a story. While I was browsing Facebook the other day, I saw something about Dolby Atmos on the Galaxy S10 series of smartphones. Then I realized that while I was doing the audio test for the Galaxy S10 Plus, I did enable Dolby Atmos because I was reviewing the Galaxy Buds at the time. And so, I am back again by doing an update on the test with Dolby Atmos disabled. So, to present you the results right now, the Galaxy S10 Plus with Dolby Atmos turned off, results are looking very good. So with loudspeaker alone, it's at 0.3 seconds of delay. With dongle, it's at 0.36 seconds of delay. With Bluetooth aptX, this is where the magic happens, it's only at 0.895 seconds of delay. And then with SBC on Bluetooth, it's about 0.9933 seconds of delay. So by calculating all of this data, we can see that the S10 Plus is doing very well under a second in terms of audio delay, even with Bluetooth. Of course, you have to turn off Dolby Atmos, but once again, Bluetooth audio is always with delay. So I'm gonna let you continue watching the video until the end because everything is still valid. So let's roll. Well, for loudspeaker, it adds about 300 milliseconds, and then for uh, using a direct headphone jack, it adds about uh, 400 milliseconds. For AppTex, it adds 1.4 seconds of delay, which is way too much, makes the game totally unplayable. And when I'm using SBC, it adds about 1.47 seconds of delay instead. Okay, so now once we've got all the data gone, let me just talk to you, what is AppTex and SBC? So if you go into the developer options on your Android phone, you can actually select what codec you want to use. Codec here means compression and decompression. It means that you can compress your data, send over through Bluetooth, and then you decompress on the other side to get back whatever you want to listen to. So in terms of audio, so uh, let's take AppTex for example. It's meant for flag format. So flag format has a very high bit rate, but if you want to transmit it uncompressed through Bluetooth, 
you will die. So what you do is you use something like AppTex. This technology will go through an algorithm to compress your audio, your flag audio, send through Bluetooth AppTex protocol, and then from the other side, you will decompress and get back whatever fidelity is there. So there is some lossy part when it comes to AppTex. It's not entirely lossless, but when it comes to Codec, after you decompress, you will still get some loss in your audio quality. And AppTex tries to maintain most of that fidelity without that much loss, but you know, you still get audio delay. AppTex low latency doesn't mean no latency. There is still some latency, but throughout our test here, which is totally not scientific at all, uh, <laughs> I actually managed to calculate that it's best if you play through loudspeaker and through audio jacks, be it a dongle or direct headphone in. But whenever it comes to wireless, well, you will get delay no matter how good your technology is as of now, as of this video recording. I don't know about the future, but this is what we have now. Bluetooth 5.0 with AppTex, you will still get delay. And share this video to whoever wants to ask you about audio delay through Bluetooth and just show them all the data and let them watch this video. So that's all for today's video. I'll leave links to how you can contact us if you have any questions. Of course, I'm open to feedback because our methodology is not entirely scientific here. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone and remember, share this video. Bye.